Hello, my name is Hao Chen Dai, and I'm presenting our latest work on structure connecting atlas construction in the space of Riemannian matrix, which is accepted in IPMI 2021. This is a joint collaboration across multiple institutions. Martin Bauer provide the mathematical foundations, Tom Fletcher and the Saran Joshi apply it to the structure connecting and the cartography. So Sue, Chris Campbell and me implement the whole framework. There's the rich body of work that studies the structure connectivity of the brain by analyzing the cartography derived from the diffusion image. However, a fundamental challenge remains open. How do we statistically analyze a population of connections? We present a novel framework to address these questions. The structure connection is actually the structure network of the brain. The white matter is pathways between the brain regions, and our goal is to construct a connecting atlas from cartography data. We construct this atlas so that we can statistically quantify the geometric probabilities of the structure connectivity across the population. Here are the existing methods, but I will not go into that. I will leave it to the reader who are interested in. Here comes our own contributions are listed as below. We present the cartography fibers as a geodesic as a metric, that is, as a point on the infinite dimensional manifold of Riemannian metrics. Then we equip the metrics with the diffeomorphism environment, every metric to compute the distance and the geodesic between the connectants. Then we develop a registration method called the diffeomorphic metric registration of the connectants with the framework proposed above. Uh, we finally come to the estimation of the atlas of the connectums. First part is a structure connectum as a Riemannian matrix. The goal is to find a metric with geodesic match the topography as defined by the vector field V. Previously, we are using the inverse diffusion tensor metric called the G2, which is, is the inverse of the diffusion tensor. The geodesic of it captures the essence of the topography. However, it typically deviates from the photography in high curvature areas. So here comes to our locally uh, adaptive metric G alpha, which is equals to the scale first diffusion tensor metric. We chose this metric such that the geodesic of the metric match the cartography. All this is just to minimize the F alpha by solving the Laplacian equation for alpha. So here is the result of our cartography based metric estimation. You can see the blue curve is the geodesic running on the inverse tensor metric. The orange curve are the geodesic running on the connected metrics. The black curve is cartography. G belongs to the metric space, uh, the space of smooth money matrix on M. Uh, the few morphism act on the metric space via pullback. B is a diffuse morphism, and geodesic with respect to the G are mapped via V to geodesic with respect to the V pullback G. Then we can equip the metric with the Abbey metric. Abbey metric is actually a metric of metrics. Abbey metric is an integral of point-wise metric on positive definite metric matrices. The good things about the Abbey metric is it is environment under the action of the diffeomorphism, and it also gets explicit point-wise formulas for geodesic and distance. Here are the mathematic foundation of the Abbey metric. I will not dive into this. I will also leave it to the reader who are interested in. So here are the visualization of the geodesic distance of connector metrics from the human connector project. Now it comes to the diffeomorphic metric registration. Recall that the diffeomorphism act on the metric via pullback. Abbey metric induces the right environment distance on diffeomorphism n. And here we are using the, the Abbey metrics to also measure the distance between the identity and the phi by measuring the distance between G and the phi pullback the G. Then register the two connections by finding the phi that minimize the energy function below. So the first term is a regularization term. We want to keep the phi as smooth as possible. And the second term is the measurement between the G0 and phi, back, phi pullback G1. We want to see how well the phi registered the G1 to the G0. We need to build in the atlas 
uh, the explicit instance used in the registration formulation to minimize the function below. Alternative algorithm implemented in PyTorch is first estimated the Fushain mean and then register each connection to the current mean estimation using the gradient flow to optimize the functions and then only do one or two iterations for matching matching each time to avoid the overfitting early. So here's how we recursively doing the shaming of the connectors, given five connections. And the first step is we take the halfway of the geodesic between the G1 and G2, then starting this middle point and find the geodesic between it and the G3. And we go one third along the geodesic to find the next uh, for shape mean and start from this for shape mean we need to step one fourth along the geodesic between it and the g4 and we keep doing and this will give us the final uh, estimation of the for shape mean of all five metrics and the good things about it is it only requires n geodesic calculations in total and here comes the result 